we're going to continue on with base letters. In this lesson, we're going to speak about rearranging base letters to get opposite meanings. So they're related, but they're opposite. In English, we have words known as antonyms, opposites. Now, what I tried to do before this presentation was to find an example of two words with the same letters that were antonyms, that had opposite meanings. I was unable to do so. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but it would probably be very rare and it would be coincidental, not deliberate. However, in Arabic, it's quite deliberate. And this is actually one of the aspects that adds beauty to the Arabic language. In that, you can get three base letters, reverse the direction of these letters and get an opposite meaning. So let's look at this example. We have the word Rukn. So the Ra, the Kaf, and the Nun. And words derived from these three base letters have the meaning to support, to be important. There's importance involved as well. So from the word Rukn, we get the word Arkan. So we have Arkan al-Islam, the pillars of Islam, al-Iman. A Rukn is an, also can be used for principles that are important important elements of something. Now, if we rearrange these three base letters and get the word Nakara. Nakara means to deny. It also has the meaning to be unknown, to be disapproved of. Nukr, for example, to be rejected. So you see how those meanings are the opposite of being having support, being important, main principles of something as opposed to to be rejected, denied, unknown, disapproved. That's one example. Let's try another example, inshallah. Rasakha. So, what does Rasakha mean? We have, for example, Rasikhuna fil from the same three base letters. Rasikhuna fil are those who are deep, deeply established in knowledge. Rasikhuna fil Rasakha means to be deep-rooted, to be established, something that has substance, okay? As opposed to, if we rearrange these three base letters, what do we have? Khasira, to be in loss, to be deteriorated. Al-Khasir is a person who's lost. Khasir could also be used for damage, being damaged. So you see the opposites, the total opposites, Deep-rooted to be in loss. Okay, that's two examples of base letters being rearranged to give opposite meanings. We have the word sabaha, which means to float or to swim around. From these three base letters, we get the word sabaha. It means to exalt somebody. Or to elevate his status. Now, if we rearrange the three base letters and get habasa, habasa means to obstruct, to confine, or to withhold. So you can see they have opposite meanings. One means to swim or to float around, move around, while the other means to obstruct, confine, and withhold. Another example is the verb sekana which means to be still, not to move, to be tranquil. And from these three base letters, we get the word sekina, tranquility. If we reverse the direction of these letters, we get the verb nekase. Nekase means to turn something upside down, or to invert, or to reverse, or to bend over, or to tilt. So actually, it has the opposite meaning of to be still and tranquil. Don't forget to subscribe, inshallah, to the channel. Until next time, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.